Awesome it's anymore. a bit like Squid Games. Okay. I think it's a bit like Squid Games, trying to get an appointment with Because you've had a personal experience yeah, with this, I haven't did. you? Know, had, what, what happened with you? So I had a ruptured cyst. I didn't know at the time. was in agony. Called the doctors. I couldn't get to see them on the phone. And, and they just said, take a paracetamol, take a neurofen, which I did. Ended up in A&E, which is almost like torture. It's almost like they're sending you there mm. as punishment. Sat there for 10, 11 hours. Oh, they were short-staffed, got sent home, said it was nothing. And it wasn't nothing. It was a ruptured cyst. Can be very dangerous for a woman of my age. And this went on for two months. I still couldn't see a GP for two months. Ridiculous. After two months of the agony, finally got to see... No, got to speak to a GP on the phone. And they referred me to uh, uh, get an ultrasound scan. And that took another eight weeks. This is and I'm still here, so and that problem is that. there. But this is hideously unfair on A and E paramedics, of many of whom are not any, anywhere near as much as GPs are earning. No. The pressure A and E staff are under is awful. Well, it, I was there for ten or eleven yeah. hours. Indeed, and, and, and look, the whole point is, I do understand that there are certain things that GPs can do on the phone or can do of on the course. internet, right? like referrals, which so often are required by insurance companies, for example, you know, if you need to get your ankle checked out or something. But I think we need to fundamentally evaluate the situation. Well, there should be a choice, shouldn't there? Because, like you said, some elderly people don't know how to use technology or yeah. don't want to use technology. Yeah. I they don't want like to, to use technology. GP to go in person. I don't like to use technology. No. I, they say, do you want to send a picture? No. Right, I right. Want yeah, it's to not see just elderly people. Absolutely. I don't want to do this on the phone. I need to see you. Yeah. And this My thing children about... are poorly. Yeah. My child, you need to see them. I have to demand it. Exactly, if you've got a newborn baby. Them. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, you almost have to force right the You're situation. forcing people to A&Es. What do you all think about my suggestion, though, uh, that privileged folk like me should actually be actively But we pay our encouraged. taxes for this system. Yes. So I agree with you. I've I said this all along. If you can afford your health care, you should pay for your health care. The NHS should be a backup system, a security net, a safety blanket we, for we, people and who... And for when you're diagnosed with cancer. We're paying cancer. our taxes. We that's what, well, that's what we're, we're paying for. Yeah, we're paying for, for people that can't afford health care. Right, but then... But still, so I, I want to be able to use that system. Whatever no, that's, I'm that's paying on you. into, that's on I would like to use that system. That's on you.